In today's video, I am going to show you how to perform software update, personalize your wallpaper and boot logo in your new hand show display with Apple CarPlay. Thanks for tuning in on today's episode of my Tesla series. My name is Shiva Sapkada. I'm an engineer, Model 3 owner, and I make variety of Tesla videos in this channel, anywhere from software update to some crazy installations. My goal in this channel is to bring you all the latest and greatest Tesla accessories, gadgets, and all the information to make your Tesla ownership better and easier. I do a lot of detailed step-by-step -step videos in this channel where you can just follow along and install these accessories. My channel here is all about helping people and being positive. Late last week, I posted a video about this display which has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it provides critical car information right in your view for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. And with all of your support, that video really took off. It caught on YouTube's algorithm and it is growing exponentially and so is my channel. So I really, really appreciate it. I am honored. I am thankful for all the support I have been receiving. So please, if you find my videos helpful and if you want to see more in the future, please continue to support my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification, all of your comments. I thoroughly enjoy reading every single one of my comments and responding to them. So please continue doing so. Help me grow so that I can continue to bring you all these exciting and cool accessories and bring informational videos to you so that, as I said, make your life a little easier. Since I posted that video, I have been getting a lot of emails and comments about hey, how do I upgrade the software? Where, who do I ask to get the software update link? How did you personalize your wallpaper? And that boot logo, can you show us a tutorial on how to do that? And Hanshaw also reached out saying they have been getting similar emails about the, the same topic. So I wanted to bring this video out to you as soon as I can. And even though I'm only going to be covering those topics today, just know that I am working on all the videos that I have talked about in my previous video. I'm gonna be bringing you, you videos on detailed tutorial on how to connect to Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cover all the settings that is in this display, show you all how much air this display really blocks, as well as do other tips and tricks and tutorials that I have been learning as I'm using this display for a while. So stay tuned for all of those videos. First of all, the software update. Hanshaw said they are working on a central place where they can put all of the software update files in their website and folks can just go and download the update files and update their devices. Until they figure that out, I'm gonna continue to bug them to send me the latest and greatest files so that I can put a link in my videos with those file links where you can just download them. And that starts today. If you check the description of this video, I have a link to a software update file. So if your software is not updated to that version, you can go ahead and just download that and follow along on my tutorial today on how to do that. I am going to continue to update those links with latest software updates. So I'll leave that link there and then I'm gonna add new software update with versioning on my description until Hanshaw figures out you know, where to put their software update files. To update your software, just go to the link that I have in my description, download that file, and it's gonna be one zip file. Go ahead and extract that zip file and a folder pops up with all these files in here go to the MCU and Android update folder. And when you click on that, you will see a whole bunch of files. There are different file types and there are three or four zip files in this folder. Go ahead and unzip those files as well just to make sure that everything is unzipped and it is compatible. So when you are unzipping all of those files, you might get an alert saying there is duplicate. Just go ahead and skip those because Hansho already unzipped some of these files and folders in here. So just skip those and then move on. And when you have all of those files in that MCU upgrade folder, just copy that, those files and paste it to a USB flash drive. Hansho recommends a U-disk, but for me, a USB flash drive worked perfectly fine. When you have those files in a USB flash drive, take it to your car and plug it into the USB port on the side panel. Give it about two or three seconds and it will recognize that device, but you might not get anything in the screen. Just go to the car's setting menu, go to general, go to about version, 
and then right there you will have an option where it says MCU upgrade in the in the middle so just press on the MCU upgrade and then the upgrade will begin it takes about a minute it will go through the update and then it will reboot the system and your update is complete at that point now let's talk about the boot logo and then we'll move on to wallpaper next this is the logo slash screen that pops up when the car is waking up when you enter the car for the first time after the car has been asleep. And this is similar to the Tesla's main screen. It takes about 10 seconds to boot up and it, it will be ready to go. But during that 10 second, first the boot logo pops up and then the Android logo comes and then the screen wakes up. So if you want to personalize that boot logo, this is what you do. This is just a 1920 by 720 pixel BMP file. So you can just create any file with that file size, but it has to be BMP. And to further assist you, uh, even though I am not sponsored by Canva, you can go to canva.com, create a free account, and hit on custom, and put 1920 by 720 pixel. And when this screen pops up where there is that blank uh, 1920 by 720 file, you can just go ahead and start putting background, you can put text, you can put whatever pictures you want because you are not really obstructing anything. This is a boot logo, there is no information there other than whatever you want to personalize it with. So you can go ahead and put any pictures, anything you want in here. And when you are done, just go ahead and hit download. And since Canva does not have a BMP file option, just download it as a PNG and then there is hundreds of online tools out there where you can just convert the PNG into BMP file and then save this file in a flash drive but you have to make sure that the file name is called boot logo. You can have boot logo one, boot logo copy, whatever but it has to say boot logo in the beginning. So make sure that is correct and all you gotta do at this point is take that flash drive to the car, plug it in, go to car setting and scroll down all the way where it says factory setting and it will ask you for a pin code. Just put 6688. So that is Hanshaw's pin code and hit OK and then the menu comes up where you can just now press on boot logo and when you press on that, it will ask you, you have to plug in a flash drive and then you hit OK and then it will come up with all the boot logos that you have saved in your flash drive. So if you have multiple boot logos there, it will pop all of them up and you just select one boot logo or boot logo or whatever you have. And then when you select that, it, it takes a second and it says complete or success and just hit okay and then exit out of that. And that is how you set your boot logo. Now this final tutorial is for wallpapers. These wallpapers are just PNG files, again, 1920 by 720 pixels. And to make this really easy on you, because you have to be careful of where you put your personalized image because you don't wanna block the speed meter or you know clutter your display too much. You need to know where all those dials are. I am gonna take some screenshots and link down below where you can just download those files. And I was able to take the screenshot and transfer those to a drive and th those are the link down below um, where you can just download those and take it over and then you know where to put those images, the personalized image. If you have access to Photoshop, just open Photoshop and create a blank 1920 by 720 pixel file and put whatever background you want and then drag the, the screenshot that I have down below on whichever one you want, the, the car opening door one or the, the driving one. And then just visual, you can visualize that way. You can overlay and visualize where everything is at. So you can add your personalized image on the spaces that are not already occupied by Hanshaw's information, such as that motor thing on the right and then the speed cluster on the left. So you can put your images on those gaps uh, that Hanshaw has. So after you do all of that, just make sure to remove the screenshot uh, overlay so that that screenshot is not there. And then when you remove it, you'll just have your personalized background where you can just save it as a PNG file and save it to your flash drive. Now, if you don't have access to Photoshop, again, you can use Canva. Just go to Canva, create 1920 by 720 pixel, uh, any color background that you want, 
bring the screenshot that I have in my description to align with your image so that you know where everything is at and then start adding pictures. You can put Tesla logo, you can put Elon's face, uh, whatever you wanna do, you can put it there and then just remove the screenshot. Now you already know where exactly it will be in the car. You can just remove the screenshot and then download as a PNG since Canva has a PNG. And all you gotta do now is put that in a flash drive and you gotta remember that this file name has to be called wallpaper. You can call it wallpaper one, wallpaper two, wallpaper copy, whatever you wanna say, it, but the first part has to be called wallpaper for Hanshaw's screen to recognize this. So once you have a wallpaper something PNG or wallpaper PNG on your flash drive, just take that flash drive to the car, plug it in, go to car setting, go to factory setting, put pin code 6688 to access the factory setting, and then go down where it says wallpaper, click on that, and a screen pops up saying we need a wallpaper in the root directory, just hit okay, and then it will pull up all the wallpaper that you have saved in your flash drive. You could have multiple wallpaper with different variations of the name as long as they have wallpaper in it. Then all you gotta do is click on one of those wallpapers. It will say hit success and you're good to go. You can back out and then you can see the wallpaper. You can do this iteration as many times as you want to personalize your display and, and make sure that everything is good to go. Just know that when the car is driving or is facing kind of front, you are gonna have a lot more space than when you open a door. You might block some of your personalized wallpaper. That's why I put both screenshots down below so you can really personalize this. That will do it for today's video. If you know any free photo editing softwares or if there are any online tools that you use and like, be sure to link those in the comment section below so that other folks watching this video can take advantage of it and personalize the display. I will put a link for Canva down below and some of the other online uh, Photoshop tools that I have used in the past. I'm gonna put those links in my description, but please do leave you the, a link of any software that you use and like so folks can check it out. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please comment them below as well. As I said, I will be bringing more videos in the near future covering a lot of those settings and I've been getting a lot of requests for comparison videos between different displays and also different settings, uh, doing a demo of the airflow, talk about warranty. So all of that will be addressed in the following videos. Uh, make sure you come back and check out my channel uh, periodically. I really appreciate your support. Please continue to share my fr videos with your friends and families and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Again, thank you very much. Namaste.